Number 14, consider two processes, sublimation of I2 solid and melting of I2 solid. Note, the latter process can occur at the same temperature but somewhat higher pressure. And then they give us these two examples. Sublimation of I2 solid is when you're turning your I2 solid into a gas. So this is sublimation. Sublimation. And then the bottom one is solid to liquid. That's melting. So they're just writing out what they basically just said but in a process, right? A balanced equation. Now here's the question. Is the delta S positive or negative in these processes? So let's answer this question first. So if we have I2 solid, and I'm going to I2 gas, would this delta S be a positive or a negative? Well, if you have a delta S that's being a positive, that means that you're going to something that is more random and more chaotic or more disordered. On the flip side, if you have a delta S value that's a negative, that means that you lost randomness as you went through your process. So it's like less disordered, less random, less chaotic. Whatever word you want to use, go for it. They all kind of mean the same thing. So now, we have to use our states to figure this out. Remember solid liquids and gases, right? We learned about these all the way back in the beginning of chem. Solids are very, very, very tightly compact, right? Those molecules are very close together, so their movement is not that great. They are the least entropy out of the states because they can't really go anywhere. It's not really chaotic. As you gain entropy, right? And entropy is talking about the randomness of the molecules. As you're gaining randomness, gaining chaos, you become, you know, your processes has a more entropy value. Liquids are a little bit more spaced out, but not too great, right? Because the gas is ultimately the chaotic one, where all these gases are all over the place. They're spread out. It's disorder. It's chaos in, in those containers. Yeah. So let's see. We started off with a solid, so that means that those are very, very close together, and we ended with a gas, which those molecules are all over the place. Are we going to something that is more random or less random? Yeah, we're going to something that's more random. So if that's the case for this, the delta S would be a positive value. So for sublimation, which is this one, Delta S would be a positive. Okay, let's do the same thing for the next one. The next one is melting, so that's I2 of solid, and I'm going to an I2 of a liquid. This is, and maybe I'll put this in red, this is melting. So if I just draw out those molecules again, I start off with the solid, which literally would be the same as before, right? All those molecules are compact together and I'm going to a liquid. So they're not as all over the place as a gas, but they're definitely more random than a solid, right? So am I going from something that is more random or less random? Yeah, still more random, more chaotic. So in this case, they both would have a delta S. That's a positive value. So we answered the first question. Is a delta S positive or negative in these processes? So for sublimation, delta S is a positive, and for melting, delta S is also a positive. Now here comes the second one. In which of these processes will the magnitude of the entropy change be greater? Now when we're talking about magnitude, that's just a, you know, an interesting way of saying the number, right? especially when you get into physics, which, by the way, we have, I don't know, hundreds, <laughs> hundreds, maybe thousands. I would probably say at least a thousand problems just designated to physics on the channel. So if you guys are taking physics, go for it. 
My brother will be there every step of the way for you on this channel. Back to back to Kem, though. So they just want to know, is the number, which one of the number is going to be the biggest one, the magnitude of that entropy change? So if we had to take a guess, right, or not really guess, an educated guess, which one would have the greater positive value? Well, if you're going to something that's way more random than just a little bit random, the extremes would have the greater number. So since we're both starting off as a solid, but since I went to a way more random place than just the liquid, the sublimation would have the greater magnitude. And to just put it into perspective, magnitude, just to put it into perspective, maybe this uh, delta S is like a 100 value. That just means that the delta S for melting would have to be lower, maybe like 10. I'm not saying that those are the, the real numbers, but I'm just saying that greater magnitude, greater number. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Um, that will help us out tremendously. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. And I will be talking to you when I talk to you, right, in another lesson. Have a great day. Study hard. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.